Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali from Excel Basement Private Limited and um, in this video we will learn uh, amazing and awesome 10 techniques to become more productive with Microsoft PowerPoint application and I hope that uh, at the end of the video when you go through all these 10 awesome tips regarding PowerPoint uh, you will be uh, become more productive when next time you will be creating presentations in your organizations or, or presenting somewhere else. So let's get started. Uh, the first technique in Microsoft PowerPoint which I am going to tell you is about designing ideas. And please note that I am using Microsoft uh, PowerPoint 365 subscription based Windows uh, desktop version. So I hope that uh, you have the latest version, uh, but never mind if you don't have the latest version, either you have PowerPoint 2013 or 2016, you can still apply some of the uh, awesome techniques which I will be explaining in this video. So let's get started first. Uh, I, I'm going to tell you about how to apply the designing ideas feature available in Microsoft PowerPoint. So for example, if I insert some of the images on my this PowerPoint slide, so let me just insert uh, some images uh, from my local hard drive. So after uh, adding some images uh, on your slide, for example, you have add some shapes or you have insert some uh, external images or logo of your organization. Uh, there is a lacking in this slide and that is we are lacking with the idea that how to arrange them on our slide so to make it more attractive and uh, the user should be uh, interested to see our slide and it the, the message should be conveyed in an easy way. So as we as a novice user or a beginner user we have inserted the images and the objects but any idea that how to uh, present slide in a better way. So in Microsoft uh, PowerPoint application uh, you have a feature called design ideas which is available on the home tab and when I click on design ideas which is uh, available at the right side of this home tab so when I click on it it will generate some ideas and uh, this is super cool awesome uh, feature available now in Microsoft PowerPoint that it tells you some uh, gen some default ideas about how to present these images in, in a different and meaningful way and uh, this, this is powered by office intelligence services definitely the artificial intelligence with the passage of time uh, most of the features now being integrated with the microsoft application either that is excel word powerpoint or any other uh, within the microsoft 365 domain so design ideas gives you an appealing slide a very good meaningful slide to to present that presentation so I recommend that use this feature and when I click on any of the template which I like so very quickly it create uh, it, it converted into a new slide. So I hope you love this feature uh, as it saves a lot of time for you to design a slide from the very start. All right. So next trick would be uh, in, in Microsoft PowerPoint we have also a feature that is called dictate. Now th this is something very interesting. Uh, let's say if we want to write some paragraphs so we need to type uh, by our hands right so uh, that's depend on your typing speed as well that how many words per minute you are able to type so instead of that uh, now the dictate feature is available within Microsoft uh, PowerPoint where we can just speak and uh, this application will type uh, the the text for us as well now it's also depend upon the pronunciation or accent in which you are speaking either it's a British either it's a US based or any other country based and it's also dependent which language you are speaking either it's English German Spanish French any other language so we have some default uh, languages available as well so this feature is also available in the home tab and on the right side you can see there is a feature called dictate and by default is set on English United States. So you have other languages available as well, French, German, Italian, Spanish, uh, Chinese is, as well. So we are hoping that few more languages will be added with the passage of time in the next available versions by the Microsoft or in any next coming updates. But for now we have uh, some of the languages available. So let me give you a demonstration that how Dictate is, uh, works. So I will add a text box and within this text box I will 
uh, start speaking and this application will start writing the words for me so let's get started I will just click on this dictate button we will be learning Microsoft PowerPoint tricks in this video my name is Raheem and I am from Excel Basement Private Limited so now you can observe that as I am speaking Microsoft PowerPoint writing the words for me so whatever I am speaking uh, it's typing without any grammatical mistake or error of spelling until unless the word is very new and which is not available in the dictionary okay so I just stopped uh, this dictate feature and as you see that I'm just speaking and this application written a paragraph in, in just few seconds for me instead I would start typing it from the keyboard and it might be I make the spelling mistakes as well so this is very interesting feature so I hope that you will use that next uh, trick would be uh, using the F4 key so if you are a user who uses Microsoft Excel or Microsoft Word so similar F4 key uh, gives you the functionality in PowerPoint as well it repeats the last action uh, but up to some limitation act actions could be repeat so for example I have on this slide uh, an object which is a circle and let me make it a duplicate of it by copying and pasting and there are multiple ways to do it you can hold the control key and drag and drop as well uh, by your mouse left key so it will uh, gives you a new object on the slide as well so let's say if, if I change the color of the first circle into something different color for example let me select the light green and when I come to the second object I, I don't need to go to again to that similar kind of feature available in a uh, ribbon style I can just press F4 key and the last action which was uh, applied is, is now being repeated by the F4 key so this is very uh, awesome uh, shortcut key in order to save your time whereas you can also use the combination of control shift alt key on the objects and and with the combination of arrow keys for increasing or decreasing the size of that particular object or shape so for example if I press the shift key and I if I press uh, holding the shift key and arrow keys of left and right so it increases or decreases the size of the object and also the up and down arrow key by holding the shift key as well so this is how uh, with the help of shortcut keys uh, your time gets saved and you don't need to uh, use mouse uh, too much the next technique is about the selection pane now this is again one of the interesting uh, trick to be for the users of Microsoft PowerPoint uh, for for going going to the selection pane on the home tab you will find uh, a group which is called drawing and in that group you will find a feature that is called arrange click on that and in this contextual menu the last option is called selection pane click on selection pane uh, at the uh, right side you will find a selection pane and uh, if you want to hide all the objects from this particular slide you can click on hide all uh, you can click on show all to show all the objects if you want to hide a particular object from your slide so as you can see there there are uh, a small icon of i is is available on the right side so when you click on any of object i it it uh, creates a diagonal line on it and uh, that object will not be shown on that on that particular slide it's still it's available but it's not visible so you can click any of the particular object i uh, icon and that will be either shown or hidden and also you can change the uh, sequence of that object by clicking on these arrow buttons for up and down to make the priority of that particular object in the slide so, so selection pane could uh, be very handy when you need to hide or unhide some of the objects temporary on your PowerPoint slide next technique is about the cropping cropping of the picture for example uh, on this slide I have added one of my session uh, training session uh, picture and I need to crop uh, in a different way so for cropping the picture uh, what you can do is click on that picture and on top you will find picture format 
tab and in this ribbon you will find crop option uh, at the right of the ribbon so there are multiple options available for example a simple cropping can uh, make your picture more uh, crop according to the height and width you select but if you want to crop uh, it and convert it into a, a different shape as well so so you need to select crop to shape so for example if i select triangle here so it the picture is cropped and it, it's also transformed into a different shape as well so this is again one of the very good feature available in microsoft powerpoint uh, next we have how to remove the background from the picture so if you have previously used adobe photoshop or any other software to remove the background uh, in now in microsoft powerpoint removing background is not a painful uh, part but it's it's very easy so let me tell you how to do it click on that picture and go to picture format tab again and on the left side you will find a remove background option available click on that and automatically remove background will detect uh, that a particular object to be remain uh, on this picture and, and it will remove that background but later on if you find uh, something to be still remain in the picture so you can click on mark areas to keep and uh, it will give you a small icon of pencil and you can just use or draw a line a small line in which area you need to have that included in that picture so from the mouse pressing the left key uh, draw a line and that certain area will be visible on your picture right and when you are done you can just click on keep changes and now that's cool feature uh, within few minutes or even a matter of few seconds you have removed the background from that picture so it's very easy as you might be done in adobe photoshop software the next uh, interesting uh, trick about the microsoft powerpoint application is whenever uh, we give a presentation to to the senior manager our bosses or uh, head of department board of directors we need to mark some some points or highlight some points within the slide or we need to use the laser so so now these are all options are available and if you are if you are using the laptop and if you have the touch screen and pen available so you can write with your hands uh, that will create a, a, a neat and clean handwriting otherwise you need to use the mouse and left arrow key which uh, which which uh, typically uh, will be in a form of a doctor's handwriting so how to use that feature let me tell you i will just click on this uh, slide show button so that uh, we can go in a slide show and uh, as you can see on my this screen on the bottom left side so on the bottom left side um, let me just uh, remove the footer so that you can clearly see the icons at the end okay so now as you can see here on the slide bottom left side you will find some circle small icons uh, five uh, there are i guess uh, seven icons there so the third icon small icon is of pencil and when you click on that you will find a contextual menu where you can explore the laser pointer pen and the highlighter so for example on the slide we have certain points and you need to highlight a certain part so you can just click on this small pen and choose the highlighter and also for example because i am using the mouse so i can highlight on the real time basis some of the important points which i want to show to the management and also you can use the laser pointer as well click on that and point uh, that important that important number by the laser so you are using laser in the real time basis so you don't need to purchase a laser pointer as a separate uh, separate part uh, this is now available in in microsoft powerpoint also if you want to write something uh, you can use pen as well so let me just write few words because i'm using my mouse left key so might be the handwriting is not very much clear but if you have the touch screen and the pen available so you can write with your own hands so this is super cool uh, uh, features available in powerpoint you can highlight the text you can write the text even you can use the laser pointer as well right all right so coming to next technique which is uh, exploring the add-ins now in the recent uh, in the latest versions of microsoft powerpoint you can add 
a number of awesome add-ins available free of cost uh, with for, for boosting your presentation and making more productive so I have a few add-ins available uh, which I have imported so I will use QR code how to generate a QR code from from an add-in so I will click on that and on the right side from the QR for office uh, in just matter of few seconds it will open the options for me and now uh, I can generate a QR code I will type my name for example Raheem Zulfikar Ali and it will generate a QR code for me I can select the color which whichever I want and I can select the background color as well and I can increase or decrease the size of that QR code and when I done with the default options or with my customized option uh, click on insert button so very easily you have the QR code available on your PowerPoint slide you can explore uh, a lot of uh, add-ins available on the store of of this Microsoft window Microsoft PowerPoint window so there are a lot of amazing features available free of cost uh, might be some are paid but most of them are free for making your presentation productivity increased all right next about the grouping objects and aligning sometimes you have uh, sometimes you have many objects on your slide and uh, you are unable to uh, align those objects correctly so if manually you drag and drop uh, you will waste a lot of time in doing that now m up to some extent Microsoft PowerPoint uh, gives you a dotted line when you uh, drag and drop certain object close to the next object so it gives you the dotted line so that you can have an idea that how you are aligning that object either it's equivalent or not but uh, what sh a shortcut way of doing is that select all the objects in my example there are four circles shapes so I will select these four shapes by holding the control key and left ma left click of the mouse and I will go to shape format and from here we have different aligning uh, options available so I will click on align middle so now you can see that in a matter of few seconds uh, a PowerPoint application uh, align all those objects correctly I can also use distribute horizontally so that the gap should be equivalently distribute horizontal and also vertical so see uh, I don't need to waste time by dragging and dropping and and, um, and assuming an idea that I'm aligning it properly but, but we can use the align objects but we can use the align feature the next part is uh, now this this specific circle and this triangle is, is two there are two different objects and I want to make it one so I can use the grouping technique as well so I will select this first circle holding the control key and click on the triangle selecting both these two objects and I will go to shape format group and I will click on group now this is one object so when I drag and drop these two objects are moving uh, combined and if I want to ungroup later on I will go to again this group menu and I will select ungroup to make it ungroup right the last technique in this video I will cover that is slide zoom this is one of the very interesting and new feature available so let me just give you a demonstration so that you can understand what is slide zoom so on the insert tab you will find zoom option available and there are there are three uh, zoom options summary zoom section zoom and slide zoom so in, in this specific video I will tell you about the slide zoom so when I click on slide zoom uh, and I want to add slide number 8 on my slide number 11 and I will click on insert so a small screenshot of uh, slide 8 is inserted into the slide number 11 and it is uh, not just an image it, it's a hyperlink to that particular slide so when I go to a slideshow and uh, as you can see now when I hover my mouse on this particular zoom slide uh, a hand is showing so this means this is the hyperlink of that particular slide so when I click on this so it zooms uh, that particular slide for me so this is something very interesting uh, feature now available in Microsoft PowerPoint so you can add these kind of uh, features so for example if you are showing a balance sheet here on your slide and you uh, want and if you think that your manager would ask about the details of it so you can add that working detail slide 
here as a slide zoom for for future reasoning so i hope you uh, like all these 10 different uh, tricks and tips about microsoft powerpoint application and uh, do apply and share your feedback thank you so much